Common Relic, Rare Card. Okay, I think Rare Cards are pretty strong, right? Losing max HP kind of sucks a little bit because we're also losing a lot of... <laughs> we're losing a lot of life during fights, but... Remember when it was broken and unplayable? It could still be kind of broken, but uh, according to last one, I guess it's not. But the merchant was very strong. Okay, so we can do rare card. I think rare cards are often very strong, but common relics are also played from the pool of hubris, which is hubris and halation are really nice. I think get blood vial. Okay. Let's do one of the, and then that's it. I don't want to do sprinkle just yet. Are we doing act four? I would say we we are. So if I were to attack. If I were to attack the merchant now, is he just as strong as he was just last last fight? Yo! Ten gifted subs from Festive. Welcome everybody. Redeemed? Indeed. It is redeemed. I fight the merchant, he fights me with merchant money. I don't know. Thank you so much, dude. That was super generous. Uh Arctic, Iggy Dota, Lord Danya, Taka Asagami, Tears of Hope, Hamburger, Snack, Silicon Mind, x -Lane, and Trampler, and Theangos. Welcome, guys. You <laughs> get one time time. Pew, pew, pew. Finger of Death. I like Finger of Death. So, so negative level is apply one sh negative one strength per level, right? And apply one frail per level. And then it drops one, and then they return one strength. So, is this giving them strength after the fact? Am I reading this correctly? So, is this a temporary debuff on them? Or is that in return one strength and continually go up? I think it's just, um... I think it just goes back to f the normal, and then that's it, it doesn't keep going up. I think it's just temporary, so let's just do negative levels and try to stack that up. It's like, let's do negative, let's do the mist thing. What is this? What? What is this relic? The situational god? Holy mackerel. One negative energy shield. What does that do? What is one negative energy shield? Doesn't tell me anything. What does it do? Oh, I gained the card? I just keep getting that card? What the? I just get the card again? Okay. Hey, thanks, buddy. Hey, real nice of you. It applies one negative level to the enemy for each time it hits you. Are you serious? It seems like anger. But now everybody's... I don't know if you guys are making this up or what. So this whole negative negative level thing is awesome. I, I totally misinterpreted negative level before. I totally misinterpreted it. Like I was so foolishly misinterpreting this. Vampiric strike. So if this actually might be kind of good for the this class because. I think we need some healing, and this isn't the way to just get some healing. I'm gonna do that. The rear strike seems very nice for the class. Like this vampiric strike is quite nice. That's a heal four. That's a heal four right there. I repeat, we heal four.
Sorry, we heal three. My math, top tier. Any education. Any education is uh, the best education. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I had lethal. To make up for this, we will vampiric strike him. So this is so just to just to get the verdict on this. Just to get the verdict on this. Um, no, it, it, my math was wrong. But if we. This is like anger. We're gonna f figure it out. Deal four damage if you have bones. Can consume. Do another four. So. Okay. This is really good. This is so good. Wait, I can't. Look, that's so good. That's that's so good. So Difton, okay, got it, Difton. We're, we're, we're gonna try it out. So, Frey was just a weird debuff to have on the enemy, but but apparently the the debuff, the reason why the Frail is there because there's cards that work on debuffs, I suppose. Because Frail is a weird debuff to put on an enemy, but I, I guess it makes sense if there's other cards that manipulate that, right? Add an exhausted, add an exhausted card to your draw pile. Gain one zombie exhaust. Reap the weak. Deal five damage times the amount of deep. There, well, you know, speak of the devil. Now we are talking about the debuffs being relevant. Now, that's only a single target, but it's still pretty interesting. I want to kind of try to reap the weak, just to see how far we can take it. Singing bull. Singing Bowl is really bad for me, because I, I often don't skip cards, especially when it comes to, like, a mod. I should start skipping cards, though. I like the Crushed Heart thing. Shackles of Pain is kind of interesting. I, I feel like we have too much offense right now, so I'm going to go ahead and just do nothing. More negative energy? I mean, the, you're, you're not wrong. More negative levels, but yeah, it's kind of like... It's not that intense. It's a very small amount. I could purchase the Rex Star Relics. You're totally right. You're totally right. Festive is the top tier merchant advice. Festive likes to get me killed by the merchant. Likes me to buy the merchant's rugs. Anything that involves me make, making the merchant angry. Festive's got my back. What do you think of the new low music user? I don't think I've seen it. It's a new one? I haven't seen it. Very Strike's awesome. So reap, reap, reap the week would be interesting here. So it's going to be... Uh, It should be four times. Oh no. It's not a multi hit. I'm slow today, boys. Oops. You know, not to be real, but you're slow every day. Come on. Alright, relax. The healing is pretty good, though. Vampiric Strike. Plus, uh. Wait, why didn't I. Oh, it has to be above 50%. Okay, above 50%, we get the healing. I knew that. Siphon Strike is very good. Very good card. Doubles all the targets deep. Well, now we're talking with we'll Reap the Weak. That's kind of interesting, right? What's up, Arctic Moment? Arctic Moment. 
this could be, uh, I mean, I guess I have to take it because I have the weep, reap the weak, but this is so good. Wait, what is this? Apply four vulnerable and two vulnerable to the target. Apply two poison and one vulnerable to all, all the enemies. I think we do this. I think the fact that we have Rip the Week, we should. I also worked with our negative level, right? This is only is a one time use, though. Does it count the stacks, for instance? Oh, you, it's only unique debuffs. I totally misread this card. I totally misread this card here. Thirty-five for two is not bad. He says nonchalantly. <laughs> Thirty-five for two is not bad. Should I block there? Yeah, it does it does it with unique. I, I totally misunderstood it. I'm already uh, ruining ruining this. Actually, I uh, I did that in hopes that it would do something, but it's not stack. It's just unique, so that doesn't help at all. But so we have we do have the ability to do necrosis and epidemic, but that's not necessarily. I mean, if I get enough negative level, so guys, this is this is the idea here, right? I know this deck is really bad right now, but if we get to a point where like. We have enough negative level, and then we make all the negative levels go to everybody. Then we can make sure that nobody does nothing. So we seem to really focus on negative level here. That is above 50%. More Blood Curse. I mean, it's, it's more consistent, weak, and vulnerable. It's not good for boss fights. More negative levels. We want more aggressive negative levels. I guess that'd be kind of broken. We can make it so this doesn't exhaust. Oh my god. Whoa. Wait, no, it still exhausts. How come it show me it doesn't exhaust when I upgraded it? Why did it do that to me? It like baited me. Oh crap, I thought it. Oh yeah, it, it doesn't exhaust. Wait, it didn't bait me. All right, negative four strength, right? Let's go. Let's go. More negative level. Let's just keep it going. And now we're gonna. I mean, I would like to have the crosses a little bit later, but I can't help that. So here, this gives me healing, which is not bad. And then we also get lots of damage, which is not bad. And then we got pendant for that as well. So all in all, the dice went pretty well. It wasn't the best pendant. Uh, I'll be honest. Better than nothing, though. Going pretty smooth. That doesn't exhaust. That's nuts. That's like that's like the best card of my deck now. I was I was totally misjudging that, misreading that card last time. That's like the best card of my deck for sure. It's negative two. Pendant, baby. I want to get the weaken and then reap this week, but the thing is, I can't. Like, I'd rather just do that. Alright, I'd rather just do that. I mean, we could do negative stuff, but we're not taking that much damage, anyways. This sticks perform pretty well. I like it. I want to see if we can break it up open with a little bit more debuffs. I mean, that's interesting. 
So you can double the poison on an enemy. Um, Hellfire is good, right? So Hellfire is when... When they gain a buff? So do, does that distinct... Is that a distinction between like... Thanks for the 100 bits, man. Is that a distinction between... Uh, Debuff and buff for this card? So if I were to put a debuff onto an enemy, is that going to remove Hellfire? Or it's only when it, they're trying to gain a buff. So like I say, they're giving us up strength or something. I'm wondering if it... I'm pretty sure it... I'm hoping it makes a distinction there. Because the last thing I want to do is with all the debuffs I'm putting, I do Hellfire and then it also gives them... Uh, it says buffs. Yeah, buffs. I guess it's being very clear about that. Okay, so then I think this is another debuff that we can apply with... Reap this. It's kind of expensive, but... It's pretty cool. Hellfire is pretty cool. No, I know. I know buff's not the same as debuff. I know. I know. I know. This is pretty good as well, though. This might, this might be better for like Act Two, Act Three. Well, this is a hell flame. Do I like steroid pot artifacts, or do I like block potion? Or do I like steroid instead of explosive artifact? Eh, let's do this. Pink alligator plush. Lose 2 HP at the start of every turn. If you die, heal to full and kill all enemies. Can only be used once and stops doing damage once used. So there was lizard tail, right? And then lizard tail met pink alligator plush and then Lizard Tail immediately ran away and said, okay, you win. I mean, this still lose 2 HP at the start of every turn, so that's not that great. But I mean, that's not that bad for me though, because we do have Blood Vial, we do have Vampiric Strike, so I can kind of mitigate the downside of this. Anyways, it's, it's like, that's just something I don't really want to take. I'd rather get Energy Blood. All cards cost zero. Any card entering your discard pile is exhausted. What? <clears throat> so I'm like a one and done kind of guy. I just gotta, you know, get the bones out and then I'll be one and done. Well, that because it's kind of interesting with the, um... <laughs> That's really bad, but... That's a fat deck relic, yeah. You gotta have a fat deck to make, uh... Black Kobe useful. Forbidding Bikini. Okay, I'm interested. Gain... Energy at the start of your turn, you can no longer interact with merchants. This is perfect for Festive Bestive. Festive Bestive is so eager in selling rugs and killing merchants. This is the number one debuff to Festive right here. Just no longer interact with merchants. I don't know if I like that. It's kind of like... Kind of like Ectoplasm, except you get to have gold. Um, I don't know, man. These are awesome. These are actually kind of weird um, choices. I mean, Forbidden Kitty, I think is the only option. I agree. It, it does give you energy as well. Black Coal could be a thing. But maybe, definitely not, no. I mean, I can't... I don't like these relics, man. I could just skip. I could just take the... I could take this as well. Just skip them. Do black hole for the lols. I think I'll just take the exoplasm. Fashion, forgive me. Look, this fashion. This is not anything against you. I think. Um, what if we get dead branch? Wait, what if we get dead branch? What if we get dead branch? We take this and hope they get dead branch. But here's the problem. We have Halation and Hubris, which means the Relic Pool is massively increased and Dead Branch's chance is massively decreased. Let's do it. Let's pray for Dead Branch. Uh, this is going to be... Hmm. What do you mean Dead Branch doesn't do anything? I exhaust a card that goes when it goes to discard and then immediately get a new card. So that means I gotta go for all the relics. Oh, thanks for the Twitch Prime Blessed Signs. Appreciate that. Yeah. 
I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die so fast. It's ridiculous. I'm so dead. I'm so dead, boys. Right click during combat to activate. We need cards. So gain two strength until the end of the turn for every card you play. Wait, what? And one for every card you... Okay, red mode. Gain one extra into... Nah. Uh, we just want negative energy levels. That's really good. Um, We're totally dead, by the way, but... We're going to make it seem like we're not dead. No, we're fine. You may now also select rooms connected to a randomly chosen room on the same level starting from the next floor. I may now also select rooms connected to a randomly chosen room on the same floor starting from the next floor. Okay. Okay, quantum physics. We got black hole. This only makes sense. Magnetism. You're right. I saw them. Two discovery, trip, and purity panacea. Um, yeah, not very good. I don't think it's ascension plus. I should probably consider like I should probably consider waiting for vulnerable there. So double Hellfire is great with uh, Hellfire and the fact that I can double it. So Hellfire is, is really nice the way to, 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 to do stuff. To still do stuff while I'm not, uh, while I have no more cards. So I want to actually like... I want to, I mean there's really no reason to upgrade it unless I can get double Hellfire, which I can't. I want to do more necrosis as much as possible for the Hellfire. That's the only way I can really win. So the fact what I do is I do Hellfire and then Epidemic. So I put Hellfire on everybody and then they just die to Hellfire. So if I double the Hellfire and then Epidemic, then they all have two Hellfires and they just die 20 damage a turn. That's the, the best way to win AOE fight. 
aside from that, I think we just uh, no reason, real reason to upgrade anything just because cost reduction doesn't mean anything with black hole and can one three more blocks not that important. So we, I think we should just rest. What do bones do? Whatever, it's funny you ask. Send your letter at every future non-boss chest for every letter shuffle one letter card into your deck at the start of combat. So I feel like shuffling stuff into oh whoa. Well, this is gonna be free. And more hellfire. Whoa. Holy shit, dude. They're all so good. So more hellfire is really good. We just discovered and also skeleton dragon. Also applies hellfire, but if they're already burning, it doesn't apply hellfire. More health is not bad either, though. But the, the dragon puts health on everybody, I suppose. Alright, card is not bad because we just want to kind of play our whole deck before we die. Whoa. We got Necrosis and Blood. Oh my god. Holy shit. No, that's too much damage. I'm sorry, guys. Apparently, the guy, the guy got lost. He couldn't deliver the food. So I have food here. I'm gonna eat food, guys. It's gonna recharge me because right now I need food. The guy got lost. I had found him coming. He was leaving to not deliver the food. Like he was in the building because he had gotten lost getting here. Then he, he finally got in the building. He was coming down from the elevator because he, he, he got, the guy didn't seem like he, whatever. He was lost, whatever. We got the food. It's all that matters. <clears throat> um, and turn, and we just win. Hellfire for the win, baby. And this is beautiful. Nice. Wait a minute. What are some of the mods? I like Disciple. I like um, Blackbeard. I like um, Beat Cultist. Clockwork, Slimebound. I can't see. I wasn't able to see this guy's thing. Amazing. Whoa! Oh shit, this is exactly what I like, baby. You can only have one Hellfire. Better say it. I better say it. Oh, Ascension Plus. Well, to be honest, Beta Chest, I haven't played Ascension Plus in like five years. Festive. You gotta get yourself in bed, get yourself relaxed. So, what about this? But. You said it looks like ill gain level is actually moving how far? Was that really the case? It didn't seem that way to me. I know. Insane. If only I put text on the screen that tells us what we're playing as. I'm just kidding, Dark Ultra. Love you, buddy. This could be good for the fact that I have black hole and my deck's gonna run out of steam. But I'm sorry, Chef. How you doing, buddy? But I, uh, I like this negative energy because we, we want to make them have like no negative levels, and then um. Like, we have a massive amount of negative levels and then double that. But this might be better for my deck running out of steam, right? 
Hmm. Very good for bosses as well. Because we're worried about deck when you have seen four bosses. Double dragon, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god, negative levels. I love it. Someone just... Mmm. 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 Now you guys are probably wondering, are you mmm because of the food you're eating or the fact that you got negative mm, eight, negative eight uh, strength on him? Both. Mmm. Destroyed. Black hole. More negative levels. It's pretty good, but more negative levels. I'm gonna fight him. Should we fight him? No, this is how we lose a run. Let's see. Let's see. How do you look? You look good, Johnson. What do you mean, how do you look? Oh, you didn't read what? Hmm. Oh, dead branch. Oh, look, we have dead branch. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. I'm almost on my food. I'm hungry, I'm sorry. Wow. Apparently not. by artifacts oh my god reap them up baby reap them up so we can exhaust the whole deck and let's save the living actually via finisher our deck is insane two dragons baby oh yes oh my god no oh my this is too strong. I'm too powerful. What? Who needs my lays? What? And I'm doing 20,000 damage every turn. Salavi. Voila. Uh, Again? Oh my god. I am actually losing my mind. Holy shit. My deck's insane. My deck is insane. This is a great finisher. This is an amazing finisher. <clears throat> wow. What's the upgrade? Seven, I suppose. 
It does seven damage to all enemies. It looks like. Seven damage. Who the hell is this guy? What the hell? Piercing... What? Who are you? 50% of attack damage passed through block. Don't do that to me. You piercing mother... Trucker. What's his name? The musket hawk? Time to make you negative, buddy. <coughs> <clears throat> so it's important to have zombies because I'm going to run out of cards. I want to make sure I do damage consistently. Stay living might be what I need to, to, to win this year. Oh, baby. That's what I like to see. Let's get rid of that because just because we're not... Unless he spawns minions, which I, I'm going to feel salty, but... That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm talking about. Let's go. Damage, damage, damage. Then stay the living for the win. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I should upgrade stay the living. My bad. Yeah. Yes. 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 Broken. Not bad. That's 22 times 6? That's not bad. Oh, that's not bad. Holy shit. Bruh. Oh, yeah, they exhaust anyways. You're right. You're right. They do exhaust anyways. More dragons. Whoa. That's pretty good with my deck. Remove all the negative levels and then nuke them for six times the amount. Summon a vampire that does six damage to your enemy each turn. But this is this is a nuke. Why do you guys want vampires so bad? Healing? More dragons? I have heal already. Heal. Vampire shakes to heal. Why do you guys want vampires so bad? More dragons. Two dragons are the best card in my deck. More dragons always. This is, this, this is insane. This is really good too. This is a, a, a massive nuke for what our deck's doing. Our deck's very easily getting negative 10 energy levels, which is going to be 60 damage to everybody. Dude, this nuke is potentially 60 damage or more very easily. On top of the already other nukes that I have. I'm doing it. I'm crushing myself here. What? Holy shit. Life coach, don't play this game. Life coach, listen. Did not get hubris and did not take this relic. Yo, three months. Welcome back, Trot, yo. Welcome back. Welcome back to Germpole. Let me, um... Are my alerts not working? I'm over here eating fries like a, like a munchkin. But, um, a man's got to eat. A man's got to sustain himself. Like the vampire. <clears throat> oh, our dick's very, very quickly going to just destroy oh, everything. Pogus uh, three yeah, we don't need energy. Season. I know, I was just looking at this. We don't need energy. Let's just transform, because we don't need energy. Grasp their hearts like Beowulf. Deal 20 damage and then apply Crush Heart, which we have an epidemic, so we can make Crush Heart on everybody, which is scaling damage. So we can play this to everybody, and we can even double Crush Heart, so I can do Crush Heart and then double it with the fact that we're doubling quite easily. We have double Necrosis, so it's going to be double Crush Heart, and then that also can go to everybody. And then we also have Negative Energy Mist, which we love. We have another Strike from Beyond, which is insane with our deck. We've got more debuffs like Poison and then Transfer Negative Effects. We've got even more Negative Effects. Got block. Oh my god, this is all amazing for my deck. This shit is waking me up. 
What is this? Is this the Snakeo boss fight that everybody hates? Uh oh. That's not good. Nobody wants this fight, right? Everybody hates this fight. They're like, this is the worst fight in the world. On season top. I am munching out these fries right now. I am munching. I take your hearts and I eat it. I want to slay you. Let me slay you, please. Come on, let me slay you, buddy. Oh my god, it's too good. My deck is so good. I can start skipping, because I think at this point I have a lot of cards, and I can start skipping and get some max HP. Oh boy. Wait a second. Uh, so let me let me get this correct. This is a this is pen nibs, right? So pen nibs gonna be six times four double. That's not bad. I reckon it's not bad. Let's skip here. Let's do more attacks. What the f quantum physics textbook? You may also select room section, red room. Oh my god! I uh, I forgot that was a thing. Let's do it. Candy bun's very good. Secret weapon's very good. Wait, dark shackles with the ability to to double it. But, but when I do secret weapon, because I want, I really want to get into my my finishers very often. Oh, we were actually trying to go over here. We were actually trying to go over here. But I, the, the, the quantum physics actually messed me up. It's, I, I think this is fine, though. We still get two elites. We might even get quantum physics to go back. Negative energy. Negative energy. Negative energy on this guy in particular. And then epidemic of that guy. Wait, is it draw first? More negative energy, and then epidemic, so that's guy, everybody has negative seven. And then we just do that. And then they're gonna die, of course, to the dragon. Pretty broken. Pretty broken. Hellflame is very nice. Sure, why not? So since they gained, since they did the whole thing of, like, uh... Since they did the whole thing of, uh... They gained attack, they actually got rid of Hellfire there. Negative energy. Negative energy. Negative energy. Strike from beyond is a lot of damage, and I mean a lot of damage. 90 to be exact. Okay. Any advice for the silent? Um, let's do card draw here. I mean, we need to upgrade this for this to be relevant. I think epidemic is better for in the long run. Epidemic is probably better for the long run, but I mean, card draw is not bad either. So let's go fight the merchant here. I can kill him, right? Well, what is this? I don't like this at all. That's not what I want in my life. This is really good. It applies two negative levels to everybody. I, and that's just... That's, that's exactly what I like. But I might just do another secret weapon here. Because... At this point, we just want to find our super powerful attacks. I'm done with my food finally, guys. More discovery. Discovery is very good as well. Discovery can help me find... Uh, secret weapon or um, the bird's awful. It tries to make me take make the enemy take no damage. That's not for me. Random undead? Nah, I think we're gonna do um, 
Negative energy burst or the, the secret weapon here? In the end... I mean, negative energy burst is very nice. Discovery as well. Alright, the deck's thick enough though. Let's just go back to this path. The deck's thick enough that we're, we're kind of okay here. Negative energy bursts. Bam. Negative energy. Negative energy. Negative energy. Rape the weak. Why not? And then let's just play everything might as well because they're getting exhausted regardless. Alright, negative energy. Can we talk about the fact that both my finish of Strike for Beyond? Both of them. And three of my nukes are being gone immediately. Come on, man. What is this? Why are my nukes getting destroyed? Come on. Oh, man. What the shite. Negative energy, negative energy, then necrosis. Grabs his heart, and then necrosis. He has double crushed heart. The guy has two hearts being crushed. Feels bad. I wonder if I could slay the living through this. Through his uh, intangible. Negative 17 strength. By the way, add some hellfire to that. Let's add some, uh, some fear into his life. Let's see your weapon and add some... Um, can we slay the living? No, that's not yet. Let's just do some more... Let's do some poison. Alright. The guy should die. Requiem. Imagine... Okay. Oh, strike from beyond! <laughs> that's why you like discovery. Upon pick up, choose two cards and combine them. Excuse me. So I can combine a dragon with with the snake. Okay, I can combine. What, what what can I do with this? Necrosis and so what if we combined crushed heart and necrosis? So we're doing damage. We're crushing their heart and then we're also necrosing them. Okay, what else do we want to combine? We can combine dragon and negative energy bomb. So whenever we do dragon, we're also doing no. What if we do no double dragon and get like the superior dragon? So we get double dragon stacks. Um, how about we do? I think we combine <laughs> necrosis and epidemic. Necrosis and epidemic. So we double. Uh, uh, does it do it in the right order? So it does double the debuff and then spreads it. But the question is, does it spread or debuff first? Is it spreading them first and then? We want to know how it's spreading them and when it spreads them. It's important that it spreads properly. Vamp Vampirical Strike from Beyond. That's interesting. Oh my god, wait a second. Strike from Beyond and Vampiric means... I heal for the damage of... Wait, 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 wait. I want to kind of just try this. Now, that's problematic because... I, I want to try this. Vampiric Strike and... And, uh... That was interesting. I want to try this. Let's do this. Let's do Vampiric Strike and Strike from Beyond. This this is going to be funny. Let's do Requiem here. Let me see how this card looks now. Where is it? Holy shit! Oh, wait. It's better work the way I think it's going to work. That's such a cool relic. Better, I hope it works that way. Right, let's see what happens. The concept is there. The concept is there. One thing I do want to upgrade though, I want to upgrade the... Uh... There's one thing I want to upgrade. Ho! Oh, duct tape plus plus! Excuse me. What? No, I want to upgrade the... Um... This is a bigger bomb, which comes 8 damage for each, but what we want to do... What was it? What was it? There was something that actually was be beneficial. I believe it was the card draw. Yeah, card draw is one of the better things here. We draw two cards, draw two cards. I think it's my best upgrade, actually. But let me just... Oh, Slay the Living. That's what I wanted to do. Found it. <clears throat> Grasp his heart. Oh my. Plague Bolt. Let's do some more damage, like Hellfire. 
All right, more negative energy, and then we're gonna sh strike from beyond, bam, and then requiem, bam. You know, as far as first turns go, pretty successful one. And now if we just do like, I don't want to take damage. <laughs> oh my. Should we go for the heart? We should go for the heart, right? We have black hole, that's why. So, increase the strength for each sequential action played up to a maximum of 10. Playing a non sac card or losing HP versus a bonus of zero. Um, that's cool, but I want to get the... Um, we're trying to... I hope that I can actually fight the next elite after this. We ultimately want to find Dead Branch, right? I'll just break the game. Let's do health... Well, before we do that, let's try to milk this a little bit. Let's see if Vampiric Strike actually heals me with the strike. Let's, let's just test it, test it out here. Actually, I want to grasp their heart instead. I changed my mind. Let's grasp their heart. I changed my mind. We'll, we'll, we'll test it eventually. Violent Necrosis. This guy has two hearts being crushed. That just keeps getting more and more. It's crazy. That is getting more and more. Now he has. He's gonna have ten heart of crushing or whatever, whatever it's called. Ten crush hearts. He's at negative sixteen strength. He's getting ten hearts crushed every turn, which is three damage per stack. So that is doing. 30 damage per stack and increases, so he's doing 30 damage per stack right now. Plus the 4 Hellfire, which I don't know why that's a thing. So 4 Hellfire is going to be like 40 damage as well, if I'm correct. That's 40 damage from Hellfire and 30-something from the Crushed Heart. That's 70 damage a turn for nothing. It's disgusting. Oh, and Strike from Beyond. Okay, that just wins. But before we do that, we got to test. Alright, we got to test if our special... I oh, would just win like 20,000 ways from Sunday. Alright. More Slay the Living. I mean, when it works, it works, and when it doesn't, it doesn't, right? Let's do it. So unlucky. We want to maybe actually do this, so if we can get to the next elite on the right, it would be nice. Uh, I suppose we'll just take the curse, because we can remove it at the shop and got the elite. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted this... Uh, Quantum physics to hit this elite, even though this is the worst elite for me. I don't like this elite at all. We get secret weapon, which would do. Do grass the heart right now, or we can do stuff like weaken invulnerable, or we can do the negative energy bomb, which I think is pretty good as well. Negative energy bursts. And we can just necrosis the whole thing. Oh, that's 90 damage, no problem. That's pretty, pretty good. That guy lost 140 life first turn. Unfortunately, I can't really do anything about this because this guy's staying alive. But we can, we could do poison, and we can also do uh, some, some dragon stuff. Get double hellfire, by the way. That's insane. Slay him. Uh, yeah, fine. Yeah, it does have that stuff. Um, so maybe Epidemic, that doesn't really do anything here. Add an exhausted card to your draw pile, gain one zombie, sure. So let's do un Uncarn or whatever. Let's do negative energy. Bring back negative energy. I could also bring back discovery. Oh, it goes to my draw pile. Oh, right. I knew that. I think nothing's quite as broken as what I'm doing now. Let's do Necrosis on this guy, and then spread that to everybody. And then let's do this, and let's just kill this guy in particular. 
And I, I'm now I want to test the vampire strike to see if it's a full heal. So let's hope we get lucky and find it. If not, we do have secret weapons to help find it as well. Get that going to everybody. And yeah, we have secret weapons to help find that special attack. Let's test it. Let's test it. Alright, so if I'm lucky, this should be a full heal. What a piece of shiter. I guess that makes sense. Uh, I mean, that kind of, that'd be kind of broken if it healed me. We just do 20,000 damage all the time. It's just never not doing 20,000 damage. Negative energy burst, amazing. I mean, this is a very thinkless job I'm doing right now. Just kind of just destroying things. I expected, like, the Vampire Strike heal to apply to the Strike from Beyond damage. I guess that, w that was wishful thinking. That was wishful thinking. You get it now, Beta Chess? It wasn't that... It wasn't that kind of... Uh, Oh, I should have done that first before I doubled. That was my bad. Explain to me why this guy is 13. Why does this guy have 13 in particular? What the? Yeah, it would be very hard to code that. You're 100% right. I don't like the fact that these guys are kind of hard to kill. We need, we need the dragons here. Yeah, I didn't even know it was a thing when I picked the black hole. I just... I think zombies can do the job. I, hope, I don't think zombies damage me, but this guy has negative 38 strength, by the way. So you guys were talking about malaise? Yeah, I never heard of that card. I only know about... Uh, Necrosis. Oh, and this guy right here that was, uh, negative 37? Now they're both like that. Oh, I take it back. He's got negative 51 because it adds. It doesn't, doesn't set it. It adds it. That makes sense. Let's just kill this guy in particular. He's just, he's, he is going to die to, uh, zombies. Now he's gonna die to this. He could die to this, but I take 11 damage. So I'm curious. If he dies instantly, right? If he were to die instantly. Never mind. I can't even do it because the guy's not there yet. Let's try now. If he were to die instantly, dead. Okay, never mind. Let's just heal from the vampire. Summon Death Knight. Let's do it. Let's get some Death Knights. More negative energy level is nice, but... So one thing we want to upgrade is... Make this triple. Make Necrosis triple. Uh, wish. Now we want to upgrade... There's one thing we're talking about, that card draw, right? So if the thing was upgraded, we also want to upgrade our card draw, but I feel like maybe better than that is Recall, because it's Act 4. Whew, almost missed it. <laughs> almost missed that. Holy damn Jesus, what? Alrighty, my friend. I'm gonna destroy you, buddy. Alright, everybody talks crap about you, you're so hard. We're gonna wreck you. Hopefully. That's the goal. What is he doing? Magical? He intends to use mysterious magic on his turn? What does that mean? Oh! What the frick? You son of a gun? 
What you doing to me, buddy? What you doing to me right now? Okay, whatever. Yes, dragons, baby. Duct tape him. Yes. What does that do? Gain. What? What the? F oh, you gaining focus too, buddy? You're getting out of control. Epidemic. I need. Straight from beyond. I need. Okay, no more zombies. Let's do that. Let's do Panacea. Let's dragon epidemic that guy and then strike this guy for the rest of his life. Alright, we're doing it. I, I stopped that with the Panacea, thankfully. Ouch. Oh shit, this is getting out of control. Oh my god. Uh, Slay Living. Too easy. Requiem is insane. Okay. Act 4. Requiem is a broken card. Alright, let's upgrade. Um, no, there's one what card I want to upgrade. I think card draw, right? <clears throat> I mean, more damage from the negative energy bomb is not bad, but I don't think damage is our issue here. Uh, I think nothing's our issue, to be honest. Well, actually, the heart is an issue, because if we do negative energy, negative level, whatever, he's going to remove that and actually use it to his strength. we got to wait till after turn 4 or turn 3. So i got to just be passive in the first two turns. I guess Panacea is that interesting. We want to fight the merchant? Uh, okay, we'll fight the merchant. If I lose... Festive? Um, Festive, I've never listened to you again. Just so you know. I can't wait because I exhaust. Ah, that's unfortunate. You're right. So much for strategy. Sir, there's no strategy with this deck. You play it or you lose it. Alright? You don't gotta think. You play it or you lose it. Well, in that case... So if I kill him, I get every single card? But I don't... What? Can we imagine getting this early? Spoon. So, you know, discarding like they're supposed to discard. In fact, I have 50% to, I have fifty percent chance to be normal. That's what it's telling me. Spoon won't work. Ah. There is no discard pile. It's gone. The black hole took it. Do I want to fight this guy? No. Fine. Hey, no stealing, buddy. Hey. If I don't do damage, then he's just gone. So let's do damage. You immediately ended my turn, you son of a gun. That means I lost everything there, and I could have... Uh, doesn't matter, because all the debuffs should be removed, right? Five artifacts? That's a lot of artifacts, dude. That's a lot of artifacts. That is a lot of artifacts. Luckily, I try to play Hellfire every turn. Oh, schneister. Let's do something crazy here. Look at nothing crazy happened. Festive, you got me into this mess. I'm gonna be low on life. Now, now, uh, now he just dies. Like he can't. Now he's just dead. The guy's just dead. What's better here, Requiem or Grass Part? Let's do Grass Part. Huh. 
<laughs> what the f what the 300 gold jesus christ but liquid bronze is very strong you know what a synergy baby synergy Remove artifacts. I like it. Hey. So it doesn't work, but we'll try it anyways. It doesn't. No, oh, whatever. Yeah, cool. All right. Holy summons. Good luck, boys. Good luck. Seven. What? Why? Oh, what am I? Holy shit. Didn't know that was part of the deal. Spoon, you silly boy. You silly boy, Spoon. You're lying to us. I don't have that much life, though. That's problematic. Can I heal? Remove artifacts, more negative energy. Sure. My deck is 50 cards. I want to grasp your heart, buddy. Oh, I'm going to make you double grasp heart. Wait a second. Blood curse. Grasp his heart. Negative stuff. And then we're going to double that. The guy is about to get his heart crushed. Quite literally, crushing the heart with crush heart. I'll be here all day, don't worry. I'll be here all day. You guys think later. Um, so actually doing negative... Um, I'm giving him strength, yeah. I, so I won't do anything else. Let's do this and let's just pass here. I mean, I could do trip, but... I mean, I have to play these stuff. Like, here I have to, like... He's gonna gain strength. Not after this turn is when I gotta go pop off. I don't really have. To, I can't really wait though, unfortunately. But that's fine, cause now I, I can very easily. I could very easily get rid of all that stuff. So we win. So we win. Guys, 13 crushed heart. I mean, it would be fitting to just do this. I'd also do this. Don't let the crush heart crush the heart. I'd also do this. I mean, we have options. Um. Just for, just for the BM. I mean, I'll just slay him. GG. Wow. We broke the mod and I loved it. I had a lot of fun. Turns out when you do broken things, you have a lot of fun. Sensing Zero. Here I am having fun with Sensing Zero. Grow up, Jeremy. Grow up. Alright, man. It's like taking candy from a baby. Uh, 200 bits. Thank you, man. Thank you for 200 bits, kids. I hope you enjoyed that, buddy. 
All right, what next? We wanted to try out the one of the weed mods, or we wanted to try out the we didn't try the jungle out actually. Where was the jungle? I didn't activate it. My bad.